All right, Shalom. This is Gamali Allah out of Great Millstone, Atlanta. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shemi Abishai by Shemi Kakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the Akim that are pushing out this truth and sincerity. <clears throat> it's going to be a quick lesson. It's going to be entitled, We Are All We Have and Yahweh Shai. Or I'll say, uh, Yahweh Shai and the Brotherhood are all we have. And, um, this is in lieu of uh, today, which is uh, so-called Christmas. And um, we know that on Christmas, everything is closed. You know, everybody is, uh, I'll say majority of the world, the vast majority of the world is with their family and loved ones. You know, uh, with the tree and the house and, uh, you know, unwrapping gifts and things of that nature now. <clears throat> um, for those that don't partake in Christmas, okay, you're very outnumbered. You know, you're lonely. You know, uh, for those that don't stay with their family, I mean, you, you know, you, you stay with your family, you know, you have no choice <clears throat> but to, I mean, not obviously not partake in the festivities, but you have no choice but to be around it. You know, you can't help it. You stay, you stay with your family. So prayers up for, for for you brothers. I've been there before, you know, and you just try to stay away the most you can. But, you know, it's almost impossible being in the same house, you know, <clears throat> you know. But uh, anyway, for those that, you know, don't for those that are in the truth that, you know, you stay on your own. Hey, this is a this can be a so-called lonely day for you. You know what I'm saying? Um, and uh, it's good for bros to link up on days like this, you know, so that we don't feel so left out, you know what I'm saying? So that, uh, you know, it, yeah, you know, you don't, you don't feel like, like you're missing out on, on, you know, family festivities and all that shit, you know, cause although we're in the truth. You know, some some bros in the truth, you, you know, you may have a liking for your family. You know, you still love your mama. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and so that just being left out, you know, and, and being, I guess, out uh, outcast from the family. You know, that's really the point of this lesson is just, you know, dealing with being the outcast of the family. You know what I'm saying? Being the one that's indifferent. You know, being the 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 crazy one, the the one that's in a cult. You know, the one that's the black sheep. You know, and being the Grinch. You know, the one that doesn't eat pork, the one that doesn't eat this, the one that you know what I'm saying <clears throat> doesn't partake in their BS holidays, man. You know, so that's the point of this lesson. So this is a. Uh, <coughs> um, Matthew 10, 35. Uh, I'll start at 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. All right. Um, so Yahweh Shai is coming with uh, uh, <clears throat> destruction, vengeance. You know, he's coming with judgment on the earth, which these people don't understand. They're thinking that. Uh, so-called Jesus they're thinking that Jesus is somewhere in heaven celebrating because this is the day that he was uh what what do they say today is is his birthday <laughs> it's Jesus's birthday right so <clears throat> that's basically what they're uh you know that's the whole gist of the Christian beliefs that is Jesus's birthday Verse 35, for I am come to set a man at variance against his mother, uh, I'm sorry, against his father and the daughter against the, her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Yeah, because uh, there will be <coughs> division. Yeah, how was I, um, you know, is going to bring about a spirit where... Your family not gonna rock with you like that, man. You know, you you, you got.
got a different spirit on you. Okay? You got a whole totally different spirit on you. And maybe not even family, you know, your friends, just people in the world in general. They're of the world. So a lot of them are going to look at you, you know, like you, like you a demon. Here it is, you know, you trying to do right by the Lord. You're trying to live a righteous lifestyle to the best of your ability. But you got individuals looking at you. Like you're a demon. You're like you're a devil. You're a demon. But they they even said the same about you. How was shy, and they uh, persecuted him wrongly. It says, uh, "And a man's foes shall be they of his own household." Okay. So yeah, you know this is that's that's biblical, man. You know, your people <clears throat> ain't gonna fuck with you like that, man. And I mean. It all varies, you know, you got some brothers that's in the truth And they still get along with their family, you know They still know how to play along But, you know, for other bros that's, you know I'll say more uh, more zealous or, or, you know, yeah, more zealous <clears throat> that, that can't hold their tongue You know, that, that basically can't hold their, their can't hide their their emotions towards Jake. You're gonna be disgusted towards them. You're gonna you're gonna hate. You're gonna dislike them as much as they dislike you, because you're in a opposite spirit of them. They're in the spirit of the holidays and Esau and fake joy, fake you know kids uh, getting toys and people getting things gifts, you know, the, 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 the season of giving, right? They're in that season of giving. But, you know, you are in a totally opposite spirit. You're in, you're in the season of wanting the Lord. You're in the spirit of wanting the Lord to fucking take this place out speedily, man. And we pray that the Lord moves fast on this place, man, because it is vexing. You know, uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4 says Mark them that sigh and cry for the for all the abominations that are done in the midst thereof And these are abomin abominable acts Putting a tree You know um, it, What's that Jeremiah 10 Says they deck it <clears throat> They cut a tree out of the forest And deck it with silver and gold So these are all uh, uh, Acts and abominations and idol worship uh, uh, traditions that go back to you know ancient times, man. Ancient Babylon, Rome, you know. <clears throat> I keep going. Verse thirty-seven: He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. He that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. All right. So in comparison with How about Shemel Shai You're supposed to love the Lord Way more It's not even a comparison man You know You know You, you gotta uh, Have a disdain for these people man Yeah you know you have a, a You have a love for, for your loved ones Cause that's you know that's who raised you That's who You know fed you, clothed you. That's why the scriptures say, honor thy mother and father. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that when it comes to the truth, or they scoffing against the truth, you can't cut them off. You know? You can't, you know what I'm saying, just get the hell on and stop fucking with them. Because ultimately, they ain't in the, like I said, they ain't in the same spirit as you. You know? You have some brothers, parents that scoff against the truth. You know, you don't got to deal with them, man. You don't got to deal with that, man. It's, if you stay with them, get the hell on. Get your own spot. If you don't stay with them, you ain't got to pick up the phone, man. You can love people from afar. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you still will have a respect for them for 
because scriptures, I think in Sirach, it says, how can you repay them? Basically, you know, for all the things that they have done, how can you repay your parents? You still have a respect for them, but respect doesn't mean, you know, you got to uh, be close and buddy-buddy with them, a smile on their face when they're really demons. It says, uh, and he that taketh not his own, his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. So yeah, you got to follow after Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai was against the grain. He was against the world, man. You know, his opinion wasn't, you know, well, he taught a lot of, a lot of people followed him, but you know, you also had a lot of people. He had a lot of scoffers, man. He had a lot of haters. To the point that you know they they wrongfully um, killed him. Verse thirty nine: He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. What does that mean to find your life? Find your life is you come into the knowledge and wisdom and understanding of Yahweh Shemuel Shai. Okay. That's how you find your life, the eternal life. <clears throat> but it says, he that shall lose it, he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. Yeah, so to hell with your family, you know, to hell with your, you know, woman, if, you know, if, if they part ways with you, <clears throat> to hell even with your kids, if they, you know, if they, you know, if people ain't give them the same energy they give you is what I'm saying. You know, people still, you know, able to be nice towards you and cordial towards you, <clears throat> knowing that you're in the truth. Okay, cool. You know, keep it, keep it that way. You know what I'm saying? You can keep them around. You can, you can come around. You know, it's up to your discretion whether you want to come around on holidays. You know, and I said that before. That's up to your own discernment. But if you have, if you're gonna have a guilty conscience behind behind doing so, then don't do it. <coughs> but you got some brothers that can handle that. You know what I'm saying? They can handle still coming around for certain holidays. You know, and uh, and not feeling fucked up behind it, and not you know having uh having um. You know, still, still standing strong in the faith, and knowing that this is all just bullshit anyway. You know the truth, but these people gonna do what they do, and you can't stop them from doing what they do. But hell, if they wanna gather, I'll come get a plate. You know, so like I said, it's all up to your discretion. But those that lose their life, basically the ones, the the, the brothers that cut your family off. Hey, well, don't look back, man. You're gonna find your life, man. You know, and that's what we do, man. I'm sorry, I, I broke that down wrong too. Um, it says he that findeth his life shall lose it. I, I, I uh, mistakenly said that um, finding finding your life is finding the truth. I had it backwards. Finding your life in in this world is exactly what it says. You know, uh, you know you're. You got them, you live in the American dream, you know, you got the wife and kids, you come around for the holidays, you know, that's finding your life according to Babylon. So Salakia. But losing your life, on the other hand, is finding it with Yahweh Shai, which is life. But losing your life on this side is you're gonna lose your family, man. They going they ain't gonna fuck with you like that, man. You know? You might lose your job. You might lose individuals because you stand on what you stand on. <clears throat> Draw that line in the sand. We read it, you know. Hey, Yahweh Shai is sifting, man. He's sifting the wheat from the tear. So there's going to be a lot of people that ain't going to make it, man. A lot of people, you know, they're just going to pass away, man. That's how it go. All right, so that was that. Now... 
Uh, yep, Matthew 12 and 46. It says, While's, While he yet talked to people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood without desiring to speak with him. Uh, this is talking about Yahweh Shai. He was talking to a multitude of people. It said, Then said one unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren stand without desiring to speak with thee. But he answered and said unto him, and told him, Who is my mother and who are my brethren? And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren. For whosoever shall do the will of my father which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. Yeah, so, <clears throat> yeah. Those that do the will of the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai. This is Yahweh Shai speaking, but yeah, you do the will of the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai. You know, those, that's your family, man. So Yahweh Shai was saying, nah, he said, look, I don't, <clears throat> that ain't my family. He pointed to his disciples, those that are following him. That, that are doing the will He said this is my family So that's why it's, That's why I'm doing this lesson Is because All we have at the end of the day Is each other And you have a shot Your family man They might sell you out man They gonna take that chip Some Some of your family Is gonna take that chip And they gonna sell you out man That's just how it goes So Hey It is what it is You know Knowing that you just hey you gotta knowing knowing the fact that they gonna sell they might they may potentially sell you out you gonna kiss their ass you gonna you know keep coming around and you know what I'm saying keep although they scoffing like I said if they cool with you if if, if your family's cool with you cool but you and you either got you even got some family members that that believe the truth you know and they you know they don't scoff. They may not even believe, but, you know, they, they treat you good. So cool. But for those that, you know, treat you fucked up and try to mess with you, you know, the scoffing and stuff like that, it's a hell with them, man. Them, them, po them folks, gonna, they ain't going to make it, man. Just say it like that, man. Them, them people ain't going to make it. So you got to just, hey, just, hey, just remember... Just think, hey, they ain't gonna make it. They ain't gonna just remember they ain't gonna make it. Yahweh Bashim Yahsha is gonna judge them, and then they're gonna be in their right mind soon. But don't worry about it. <clears throat> you know, that's a hard. It may be a hard pill to swallow. You know, you still, although they scoff, you know, you still love them. You know, you done been with them your whole life and all that. So it is difficult. It's a tough pill to swallow. But hey, man, you gotta remember they gonna be in their right mind one day. And it's necessary. The Lord has to send necessary evils upon this place so that people can get it. <clears throat> and in some cases, those that are scoffing now, they could get their act together later. So maybe for now, you just don't mess with them. And maybe they'll turn around. They might repent. They might repent to you. You know, whatever they, whatever effed up things they've done, they might come back around. But in the meantime, hey, the Lord got to put that spirit on them. <clears throat> you know, but... Ultimately, for those that are lonely on these holidays that don't, you know, you don't rock with your family, don't rock with you. You know, you lot, you know, you lonely, you single or whatever, or, you know, what I'm saying you left out. Hey, how about you? Shy said we're going to receive those things hundredfold, man. Whatever you lose on this side, you're going to receive a hundredfold. So you ain't missing out on nothing, man. You ain't missing out on nothing. These people can have their holidays. They can have it, man. Let them have it. We are on to something bigger and better, you know, and um, uh, what else? Uh, yeah, don't don't worry about it, man. Just don't worry about it. We, all we have is each other. Get around brothers. Stay in the spirit. Do lessons today. You know what I'm saying? Today being the 25th, so-called Christmas, 25th of December. <clears throat> don't worry about it, man. Pray to the Lord. Do lessons today. Send curses on this place, man. Bob, Bob, Bob. That's all I got, though. Um, Lord willing, you were edified, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Kakudash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the Great Millstone. Shalom.